okay, we had these two linked first order differential equations. And the first thing to do in the question was to do the normal thing of forming the second order equation. A, a second order equation. And we solved it to give this for x. Okay. And then um, to find y, um, we could just do the same again and uh, get a general solution for y. And that would have two arbitrary constants, which we could call c and d. And uh, what we wouldn't see is the relationship between c and d and a, a and b. And there will be such a relationship. Um, so we could try subbing x into one of the equations. So the one we discussed was putting x into this second equation and then solving this with the integrating factor. And that was slightly mysterious because the constant of integration in the integrating factor, uh, it looked like we could some, for some reason ignore it. Uh, and it was all a bit messy, but we, we could get to this and it would have uh, the constants in terms of a and b. But that's a really dumb thing to do. This dy by this dy by dt equation is a differential equation. Why use that to find y when I can use this top one to find y? All I've got to do is find uh, dx by dt. dx by dt is called x dot, not x dashed. Uh, so differentiate what we see, and that is going to be the first term is just differentiates to 0.15a e to the minus e to the 0.15t, and differentiate this bit of product rule going on. So we get b times e to the 0.15t uh, plus um, 0.15 b t e to the um, that should be a capital B, e to the 0.15t. Okay, and if I lob that into the top equation and a 0.1x and a 0.1y, we can see what we get. Okay, so 0.15a e to the 0.15t. Actually, e to the 0.15t is a dirty great big common factor. Let's take it out. So, um, plus... Uh, this term here is just b times that thing out there, uh, plus 0.15bt equals uh, 0.1e to the 0.15t uh, times brackets a plus bt. Okay, and then I've just got a plus 0.1y. So uh, make y the subject, so uh, subtract this across and multiply uh, up by 10. Okay, so I'm going to get 10 e to the 0.15t as my common factor. Okay, so I'm going to have 0.15a plus b plus 0.15bt. Um, and then I've got this uh, minus 0.1a um, minus 0.1bt. And so I just need to simplify this, so I probably have to multiply 3 by the 10. So what have I got? I've got 0.15a minus uh, 0.1a times 10, so that's 0.5a e to the 0.15t. And then I've got um, just a b times 10, so plus 10b e to the 0.15t and then I've got um, these, I've got 0.15 minus 0.1, which is uh, 0.05 times the 10 is plus 0.5 bt e to the 0.15 t, which lo and behold is that solution that the answer bank got and the back of the textbook has got, but not involving anything like as much work. So I hope that helps.